Hello, glad to be back with you, with you again with another video. I hope God bless you get through this day and you have a good day. Praise God. Amen. Some places is hot. Some places is cool. Whatever's going on, let's stay in the tune with God. Stay the children of God. Stay on the wall and don't come down. God has saved us and freed us from the boundaries of sin, shame, and death. So let's continue on with God and keep our faith in him and trust in him that he will guide and lead us each and every day. Bound up anything and everything we're trying to hinder us from going for us to serve the Lord. God is good, and he's so good. He never will stop being good to us. And we should return that good and goodness back to God by serving him and loving him with all our heart, mind, soul, and body and strength. I hope God bless you with a blessed day today. And I pray this prayer for everybody around the whole world. I'm going to share a short word of prayer at this time. Heavenly Father, we thank you how you have watched over us, Lord Jesus, even in our ups and our downs and our, all the things that go on in our life, Lord. But we that know you, Lord, we know we can depend on you. We can lean on you. You'll help us and give us strength and help us to continue on. Give us strength over whatever trying to hold us and bind us down, our thoughts, our minds our body, or anything that's going on. We know we can pray and ask you to help us. And Lord, you deliver us and you help us to be able to go on and do your will, Lord Jesus. You have called us, you have chosen us, you have gave us a journey that we must go on and we have to finish it with your help, Lord. Help us all that have been called, and that means everybody in the world been called to be saved, but those that are already on the journey, help us, Lord, to stay there and keep on doing what you want us to do. And help us, don't forget about our brothers and sisters that are still in bondage with sin and not free. Lord, you, that we'll pray for them and reach out to them and, and hopefully that they accept the truth about your word so they can be free as the rest of us are free, have been redeemed from our sin by confessing our sin and was godly sorry, knowing that we needed to be saved. Praise the Lord. Amen. We needed to be saved. We were born in sin and shape to iniquity, wicked peoples, evil peoples, and we can see it's going on in the world. We was one of them too, but on the kind of, we are out because so we believe in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and have accepted him as our personal Savior, and he freed us and gave us the Holy Spirit. Now we can reach out to our brothers and sisters and, and ask God to help them, and he will help them. But we got to accept the truth because the truth will set us free. Praise the Lord, because we don't like to see what's going on in this world. This thing is not good. This is not the way to live. This is not the way to be. God don't want us like that. We know there's something wrong with that, and we don't want to be like that. What way we was in, maybe not worse than sin as some others have been in, but it was enough to keep us from going into that new heaven and the earth and living forever with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So I'm glad to be saved, and thank God for all those that are saved and serving God around the world. And we pray for everybody. Don't care. I, even our enemies, Lord, have mercy upon them. And they'll come to the light before it's too late. Because it ain't all about what time the world is coming to an end. It's about being being right with God now every day. Because we do not know when Jesus is going to come back for us. We could be here today and gone tomorrow. It could be here now. The next hour we should not. We could be gone. Jesus could be so required of our life. So it, it's just being just, just something that God said we got to start doing right away. And ain't no putting off the day for tomorrow. We got to start on that journey, accepting Jesus in his way and his righteousness and believing what he said in his word. And we want our soul and spirit to live in peace in heaven after it leaves this body. It's going to leave. We know people ain't staying here. Whether it's the end of time or not the end of time, we know we're going one way or another, praise God. But anyway, thank God for all those that accept Jesus. And thank God for those that's coming on, on the way of accepting the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We wish the whole world would accept the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We know the Lord said in the word everybody would not believe in him. But that's between them and God. We got to do what the Lord have told us to do. And we got to live the way God have told us to live. And we ask God to help us. Help us to do his will. Praise God. Help us to do your will, Lord, each and every day of our life. And don't be bound up by the evil spirits, but come on, keep Keep on doing your will, knowing you got the power over those things, and you gave us the power through the Holy Spirit over all those evil spirits that would try to bind us up and keep us from going forward and telling people about you so they so can be prepared and ready to make that journey to that new heaven and new earth. Not, not when the world comes to the end, but right now. We got to be saved and start on that journey. And those that don't, God know how long to give you time to accept him. He know how long it's going to take you to accept him. He know when you're going to end, when you're not going. Are you ever, ever going to accept him? God know all about those things, but that's not in our hand. Our hand, and God told us to just tell what he told us to say. He'll do the rest. We are not the judge. God is the judge. Lord, I thank you for another day. Pray you can bless, touch, save, heal, and deliver. 
Lord Jesus, continue to have mercy upon the children around the world, Lord. Protect them from all hurt, harm, and unseen danger in school, out of school, whether they're home or wherever they be at, Lord. Bless them, Lord, and help them, Lord. Don't let the enemy destroy them, Lord Jesus. Bless all families, mothers, fathers, sisters, and brothers around the world, everywhere, Lord. Bless them in a mighty way, in a special way, Lord Jesus, I pray and ask. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. Amen and amen. Truth the Lord is good to us, and thank you for letting us live to see another day. And I know a lot of people say, oh, what's so good about living to another day? But if you ain't ready to go to heaven, you better be thanking God for this day, <laughs> praise the Lord, because you don't want to leave this world without having made peace with God. Amen, because we want to go in that new heaven and new earth and live with him forever and ever. Praise the Lord. And I promise that I will come back with uh, part two of Revelation, and I'm going to give you that, and then I'm going to let you go and be about your business. And as I always say, uh, make sure your business is good, nothing bad. Do good things. Do the things that God wants you to do, not the things that the devil wants you to do. Praise God. He's our enemies. He's trying to destroy us. He don't want us to be saved and believe in that peace and joy that Jesus gives us. That when your trials and your tribulation, you have somebody you can go to and pray to and ask for help and believe in. Jesus will heal you. He will deliver you. He will carry you to these things. Praise the Lord. If you're going to be living in this world for a while, God's going to help you to live the way he wants you to live. But we cannot turn away from God and expect for God to do things for us, but yet we don't want to obey him. We got to lean to God's understanding, not to our own understanding, in order to get that help from my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Praise the Lord. So many people in this world let other people control their mind and their heart and tell them what to do and what not to do. It's best to have Jesus telling you what not to do and what's good for you and what's not good for you because he has the power to deliver you. He don't say word to make you feel good. He got power to deliver you from those things that trouble him troubling you and bothering you. And he knows just how much we can stand and what, how much we can take. So I, I thank God. I thank God. I thank God for my family. I thank God for everybody in my life. I know those that were praying for me that didn't even know me, the saints of God around the world. Praise the Lord. Praise God. But nobody never will ever take the place of Jesus Christ because none of us could be what we should be and ought to be if it wasn't for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So I'm going to Revelation. This Revelation is uh, the first book of the Revelation talking about how Jesus sent his angel to John, his servant, and, and told him about the visions of the things that to come, that will surely come, praise God. And John, uh, after the angel told it to John, showing him all these visions, then John told it to the churches that they'll know what the vision that Jesus had gave them through the angel and telling them about the end time, praise the Lord, amen. So we we got a, we we get the same message that they got. But only we get now was just coming by the books of, of what we call the Bible. We learning of what was the vision that uh, God, uh, the Son, gave to the angel to give to John, his servant, and John gave it to the churches. And we are the churches, and we announce our time, our century, our generation is to know about what God had told John and shown John through the vision. Praise the Lord. So I'm going to go to the 20th chapter, Revelation. And I'll be starting at the 11th verse, praise God. And um, we're going to read that. I'm going to read that to you through the help of the Lord. And that'll help you to see about things that's going on and what's going to happen and what's going on now, praise God. But as the time and finish of this earth upon this, uh, of life upon this earth, only Jesus, Jesus said he don't even know. Even, no, nobody know but the Father in heaven. He don't give us a time, but he said you would see signs and wonders and different things to be happening up on this earth to know when it is coming, about to come to the end. But the very time we do not know, but we don't, but see, it's, 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 like I said before, and it all so much about the time, in the time, we got to get our life squared out with the Lord each and every day. We got to live right now. We got to do what God said. Each and every one is responsible for their sins once we have reached the accountability to know right from wrong. We are, we are responsible for our sins. We can't fault nobody for them but ourselves. So it's up to us to get our life straight with God through repentance and realize that we need to be saved and then believe in God and believe in the new heaven and new earth. Praise God. God is good. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm just so glad that I, I, I believe in him. Whole heart, mind, soul, and body. He has brought me through a mighty lot of, lot of ups and downs, trials and tribulations. And I know I wouldn't have made it if it was no God. And I think it is one. I'm a, I'm a believer, along with all the million and a thousand other Christians around the world that know and believe in the Lord. Amen. But I'm going through and give you Revelation, the 20th chapter, 11th verse, and say, 
And this is what John was saying that he seen in a vision that John, that Jesus had gave to the angel. And the angel gave it to John, Jesus' servant, and Jesus gave it to us, which is the church. Amen. Praise God. We are the church. Praise the Lord. He gives it to people. They don't give it to a building. Building this way, we're going to worship God. Praise the Lord. Amen. But we are the little churches that come in. Each one can, each one go back and make this very clear. Each one of us can serve the Lord and have church by ourselves in our own body, mind, and soul. But God said he wants us all to come together and worship him and give him praise and talk about him, testify about him, and encourage one another through our, through our journey, through our event, adventures that we have in the Lord to uplift somebody, other Christian uh, hard to know that you're going through it, but God going to deliver you. I, I was here this, and I was that, and God delivered me. So we give others hope in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because we have found hope in him ourselves. We're talking about things that Jesus had done for us, and we're sharing it with the rest of the people that will listen. Praise the Lord, our brothers and sisters, and, and God told us to do that. He said, don't forget about them. Tell them. So they'll know how to come to him, for, for him to come to him, meaning Jesus, for help in the time of need, and we need the Lord each and every day. Praise the Lord. So uh, to 12th chapter, Revelation, 11th verse, and I, saw a a, and I saw a great white throne, and him that sit on it, from whom face the earth and the heavens fled away, and there, and there were found no place for them. And I saw the dead small and great, and there, therefore, I see. I seen. I, I'm sorry. I seen the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were open, and another book were open, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged out of the out of those things which were written in them, the books according to their works, and the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death, and whomsoever were not whomsoever were not found written, that means the name were not found written in the book of life were cast into the lake of fire. This is this is true. I by faith believe what the word of God say. I ain't been there and I ain't seen a vision like this. Praise the Lord. I read the vision that God has, God the Son gave to John and John in return gave it to um, to the churches after the angels had gave it to him the vision. But I believe what, what it says. I believe ain't no way we can live like we live in this world and do the things that we do in this world and think when our soul and spirit leave our body that we go in some way and live happy ever after when the live happy ever after when the Bible tells us our soul and spirit cannot die and when it leave this body it's got to go somewhere and God got a place for it to go and we want our name to be in the Lamb Book of Life showing that we have accepted the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ our personal Savior and we are saved we are children of God amen pray the Lord whether we're written down in the book or not Jesus knows us he knows who we are you know who it was going to be before we came into the world. So I pray, Lord, continue to bless, touch, say, read the scripture for yourself, read it for yourself. Don't ever take somebody's word for it. Check it out. Get the scripture to make sure that if, if you're a believer, if you're a Bible believing person, if you're not, then that's between you and God. The only way to get in tune with God is through his word, and his word is His is the word of God that is in the Bible, praise the Lord. If you're seeking it, trying to find God, go to Romans 10, chapter 9 and 10. We'll tell you how to start on that road to the to this blessed, wonderful world, world road of salvation through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's wonderful, praise the Lord. We're not going to stay here. Whether you accept Jesus as your person to save you, or I accept Jesus as my person to save you, I'm still not going to stay here forever. One day I'm going to have to leave. And I, 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 I don't know when that's going to be, praise the Lord, and, but we don't know. And God didn't give us to know, but he knows. So he tell, you, tell us to do it by faith and believe in him and be ready when he comes. Because we do not know the minute and hour when he's coming 
for us, praise the Lord, amen. Ain't nothing wrong with living right. I don't want to live like I see what's going on in this world. I don't want to be that type of a person. I thank God for saving me, and I know the ones that are saved, uh, praise God, they, they feel the same way. I don't want to go back. I don't want to live that way, and I don't want to play with God. I don't want to, I be, want God to help me to be real for him, and he's the only one that can help me. And I'm glad about it, and he's the only one that can help you. So I pray God continue to bless you and keep you from all hurt, harm, and unseen danger. And continues to show his love for you as he do for all of us, for the whole world. Jesus died for everybody on the cross. Even his enemies, he died for them too. No greater love than no man than Jesus had for us. Praise God. Amen. So let's show him and give him grace for, be grateful and a, and a grateful attitude for what he have done for us. Praise the Lord. I'm glad he did it. I'm glad he did it because he did, he, what I'm saying is he's seen this. And he knew who was going to serve him and who not going to serve him. So I'm, I'm, I pray God. I thank God. I'm in my mind and soul and body and mind. No, I want to go with the Lord. And I want to stay with my book, my name. I wanted to stay on the book of life. And I, I would pray the same thing for you and your families around the world. Everybody around the world is going through tragedies and things going on in their life. Terrible, terrible trauma. And, Disasters, disasters is going on in the world, and only Jesus Christ can help us. Praise the Lord, and I pray God that He will help you to get through your your trials and tribulation, and He continue to help me to get through my trials and tribulations. Cause we're on a journey now. We children of God have accepted the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as our person and Savior. We're on a journey, our journey. Each one of us got a journey that we go through, different than others, different than one another. But we do have to have that same mind, believing in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So I pray the Lord continue to bless you and keep you from all hurt, harm, and unseen danger, you and your family. Amen and amen.